today we'll be creating a coupon website this is the website which we'll be creating as you can see on your screen really amazing really super amazing super awesome website and i have taken inspiration from retailmenot.com let me show you the website this is the website this is a very famous coupon website so we you can get different coupons different deals on this particular website so i have taken inspiration from this one you know we have a similar kind of header you know as you can see over here there are different categories different companies now here we have different deals and coupon codes and when you click on a particular code when you click on this show code you are redirected to another page and in this page you'll see this coupon code appears and when you click on this co copy the coupon code is all it is automatically copied and you can use this anywhere you want so we'll be creating a similar website like this so this is the website which we'll be creating now let's first see the demo website which we have created and so that you can get an idea what we'll be doing in this video so here at the top we have a very beautiful header this is our logo this is the subtitle i have given this subtitle then a big search bar which is very very important because here people will come they will search for your product or they will search for some company like if they want some coupon code for hostgator they will search for hostgator and they can see the result then we have login and sign up tab over here after that below it we have our menu i'll show you everything how to do this we can obviously change the color scheme i have selected this color i like this one but obviously you can uh, you know, create or you can change the color according to your choice after that we have today's offers and coupons as you can see we have different companies like amazon sign up and get ten dollars for free so these are different coupons and this is a carousel for example if you see we can you know you know just move it around and this will be constant through all the website through, through throughout the website on all pages on all posts on coupons and uh, so on i'll show you in a moment what i mean by that first let's see what we have next now after this we have a slider very beautiful slider again we have six or five different tabs and when you click on one tab this is obviously automatic it will change automatically but you can also change it like this so we have two dollars cash back on mobile recharges and so on everything related to coupons and deals and affiliate marketing after that we have a very beautiful tab section we have four different categories so here this is the clothing category so all the deals related to clothing are given over here when we click on electronics we have all the deals related to electronics we have this show coupon code button when we click on this we'll see what happens uh, when we click on this first let's see all the different tabs so we have four different tabs now suppose you want this coupon code so you click on show coupon code and you will be redirected on this page so this is how a single coupon code page looks like but first let's complete the home page let's see the complete home page after that we'll go on that okay so after this we have a very very beautiful section this is the section here we have our social icons so that people can connect with us on different social media social media platforms after that we have popular stores and when we hover this we'll get for example when we hover ebay we get 32 coupons so we have 32 coupons related to ebay after that we have a very important section you know building email uh, list is very important in coupon website because if you have ever signed up with any coupon website if you have ever signed up for you know a newsletter or something you know that you know constantly will get uh, for example forget about uh, about coupon website if you have signed up with amazon or new egg you will receive constant emails from them that we are giving this uh, product for this discount and so on so it is very important to you know generate uh, i'll also show you how you can do everything about a little bit of email marketing also i'll show you in this video so this is very important to collect more emails so that you can you know keep in touch with the customers and provide them new offers when it is available after that we have this section where we are you know 
uh, you can it's optional if you want you can have this section if you don't want you can just remove this section basically there can be two kind of website a single coupon website wherein only you are the one who is providing coupons who is allowed to you know publish coupons but there there are different kind of website for example retail mean not dot com uh, you can also the company has their own coupon codes but user can also put in their coupon codes so you can have this section if you want that kind of website where the uh, wherein the visitor or user can also submit a coupon code so they can click over your sign up and they can submit their coupon code and after that at the bottom we have four different sections very beautiful section and a very amazing and awesome thing about this website is that creating this is very very easy i know people might be thinking mind this is really good website really you know really beautifully crafted nice uh, nicely built functional so it would be very difficult to create this but the answer is no we will create it very easily and you'll see how easy it is to create a website like this okay now let's first see the coupon page how the coupon archive page looks like so we'll click on all coupons and as i said you earlier we'll have this section throughout the website uh, whether we are on the coupon page post page wherever you we are we will have this section throughout the website and obviously it is all up to you if you don't want this section throughout the website you can just remove it but i thought it would it would be a very good idea to have this thing that's why i kept it over here now here we have different coupons you know and you can see this image here it says seven percent off but i'll also show you how you can put in the image over here for example if this is related to amazon then you will have amazon image over here or you can have text like this here which you're seeing over here so we have few coupons over here and we have this pagination at the bottom when you click on two you will be redirected to second page and so on and at the left hand side we have a sidebar you can select the sidebar location whether you want it on the left hand side or on the right hand side here we have on the left hand side and i'll show you everything from scratch how you can create these sidebars how you can put all these popular offers and recent offers the social icons and so on now let's see how a single coupon looks like so let's click on this so this is how a single coupon would look like we have this free standard shipping and returns site wide we have seven percent off and when we click on this shop coupon it will redirect us to another page and we also get this pop-up here we'll we can you know, copy this when you click on this coupon code it is automatically copied and you can paste it anywhere and you can also provide this get this deal link and at the bottom we are again asking the user to provide their sign up form this is optional obviously but it is very important as i said you earlier okay so this was the single page i'll also show you some you know extra things like how to create a contact page and so on and if you notice that we have different uh, sidebar for different purposes for example this page is related to coupons so we have sidebar related to coupons for example here we have latest coupons popular offers but when we click on our block section let's click on block section and block section is also very very important whether it be any kind of website whether you know, whether, whether it is e-commerce website or any kind of website block section is very important and now here if you see the sidebar is totally different now here we have popular post we don't have popular coupons so here we have popular post because the user is seeing the post and he's expecting to see popular post and not popular coupons so i'll show you how to do this as well and when you click on this single post let's see how it looks and the website is really beautiful really amazing very beautifully built i really like this thing okay you have this author over here related post comments at this bottom section now let's see the contact page let's click on contact page so this is our contact us page and obviously again this is very 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 easy to create this contact page i'll show you everything from scratch okay guys so this was a very short demo of what we are going to create in this particular tutorial i hope you guys like this section and i hope you guys like the website and if you guys are really excited then stay tuned and before proceeding further if you guys enjoy my content if you guys enjoy what i'm doing the tutorials and you find it helpful then make sure you subscribe to my channel 
Also click on that bell icon so that you don't miss any future videos. And don't forget to like this video and if this helps you then make sure you share this with your friends so that you know it helps some other people as well. Now let's see, let's get into website. So the first thing that we need, uh, if you, you might have seen or if you have seen any of my tutorials, you know that the first thing that we need is a domain name and a hosting account. So this is the domain name, coupon.nayashik.com. Domain name is very simple thing like we have google.com, youtube.com, blogdo.com. So the name which the user will type in to get into your website. So that is a coupon, uh, that is a domain name and a hosting account is a host is, is a computer or you can say it's a hard drive wherein all the data of your website is saved. For example, here we have different images we have these different you uh, know images different text and all the files all this thing is saved in some computer which is running 24 7 so that you know whenever anyone visits your website they can see everything you know so that is very important without a domain and hosting we cannot proceed further so to get a domain and hosting just open a new tab and type in blogdo.com slash tmd the link is also given in the video description below so make sure you check that link if you click on that link you will be directly redirected to this particular page okay okay we are getting some discount but this is for regular uh, package we don't want the regular chat package so click on uh, get into cloud hosting because that is the one which we will be using and it is very very important guys to select a good hosting company because you know there are many things that are dependent on your hosting provider for example the speed of the website is dependent directly on your hosting provider if you have a good host if you are using an ssd host then your website will be way faster than the normal hdd hosting if that is technical don't worry i'll explain you everything and i'll help you to create a really good website a website that is really helpful really profitable and that kind of website Okay, so let's see over oh, here we have three different plans. We have starter cloud, we have business cloud and enterprise cloud. But first let's see the features which are given over oh, here. So the first feature is that it is using a six core CPU. So as I said you earlier guys, okay, let's get rid of this first. As I said you earlier guys, a hosting is nothing but a computer or a hard drive that is running 24 seven. So all your files are saved on that particular computer. So the computer should be very good. So they are using a really amazing computer. It is a six core CPU. The computer which, wherein your data is saved is a very fast computer. That is a six core CPU computer, which is amazing. And also they are using six GB of DDR4 RAM, which is another amazing thing. So the computer which they these guys are using is really amazing. It will really speed up and boost up your website, which is very important for SEO. The sites which are good, uh, which are really good and which are very light and which have very, you know, less page load uh, time, then that site is ranked higher in Google. And that is what we ultimately want. Now the next feature is unlimited bandwidth, which means that you can download and upload unlimited amount of data from your website, which is another amazing thing. Now we have unlimited SSD space. Now this is something really amazing. Now there are two kinds of hard drives, you know, if you're familiar with computers, in, even if you have basic knowledge about computers, you should know this, that SSD is way more faster than the normal HDD. Now, if you don't believe me, you can just open Google and type in SSD versus HDD web hosting and you can see the result. There are many posts written on that. You can just read any one of those and you will find the same result. If you don't want to read, if you are someone like me who don't like reading, then you can click on images. Now here there are many different images that will tell you everything about hosting. I always click on this first one because this is very clear and very precise. You know, you get all the differences in one single image. For example, as I said you earlier, we want our website to be very fast. Now here you can see the difference between the HDD and SSD hosting. SSD hosting is sometimes up to 20 times faster than the normal HDD hosting, which is another amazing thing. 
now the second thing is IOPS and it says higher the better and you can see the difference over here it is really higher you know just a way more higher than this one the normal HDD one after that we have latency and it says lower the better and you can see the difference here it is 4 milliseconds and here it is 0.04 milliseconds if you want you can do some more research and I'm sure you'll arrive at the same conclusion so we have SSD space and not only that we have unlimited SSD space. So this is another amazing thing. We are getting unlimited SSD space, which is really cool. Now we have unlimited website hosted. This is another amazing feature. See what happens is suppose you're creating this coupon website today and tomorrow you might you know want to create a personal website or a business website or an e-commerce website any kind of website so you don't have to purchase this hosting again in this particular hosting in the same hosting you can host unlimited websites whether it be e-commerce website normal blog or anything you can host unlimited websites over here which is really cool so we don't have to spend money on our hosting again and again after that we have a free domain which is another amazing thing we are getting a free domain when we sign up with any one of this you know, package. For example, nayashake.com is a free domain which I got when I signed up with TMD hosting. Okay, let me get rid of this. We also have a premium support, free cPanel, you know, very good web server, wildcard SSL. Now, this is also very cool. If you see the demo website which I have created, you'll see this secure socket over here which is very important all the big companies have this you won't see any nice company any well reputed company without this socket for example let's see tmd hosting they have this socket let's see youtube youtube has this socket this is very important it says the user that this website which you're browsing is a secure website it's a safe website so if even if you have to or even if the user or the visitor have to provide some crucial information like the debit card or credit card information they should not hesitate okay so this is very important if you're creating a website in 2018 then you must have a ssl certificate and here you are getting a free ssl certificate not only that guys it is a wildcard ssl certificate which means that you can have ssl certificate for n number of websites for example i have created around 20 to 30 websites uh, using tmd hosting the same hosting plan and I have SSL certificate on all my websites, which is really cool. If you go in market to purchase, if you go to any web, any, any web hosting company to purchase an SSL certificate, it can cost you, you know, from 40 to $400. So you're saving a lot of money. We also have an optimum cache, which would in, you know, improve the performance of the website. Then we have mem cache, memory cache, instance 256 MB. The performance is three times better as compared to these two plans. We also get a 60 days money back guarantee. So you can sign up with any one of this plan. I obviously ref uh, recommend either the business cloud or the enterprise cloud. I would never recommend you the starter cloud. The main reason is that you can host only one website over here. Now, and suppose tomorrow if you want to create another website again you'll have to purchase a hosting plan which is not a good idea so i don't recommend the starter cloud you can go with the business cloud or the enterprise cloud both are good i am using enterprise cloud so i'll just click on this get started now here you have to put in the domain name which you want for free for example i can put in naya shake one I cannot put nayashake.com because that is already taken. I already own a website nayashake.com and from here you can select any extension .com .net .org. If you're creating any kind of organization, you can select .org. If your website is specific to one country, for example, United States, you can select .us or if your, if your website is uh, you know, specific to india then you can select dot in or you know similar kind of extension for example we have many websites which are only operating in india so we those websites have dot in but for most of the website i would uh, recommend you and suggest you to go with dot com that is the most used and you know most common thing so just put in your domain name whatever domain name you want over here select the extension and click on proceed now here you have to put in some really you know, basic information about yourself like your first name, your last name, 
email address, phone number and so on. And after that, you have to put in the payment information. If you want to make payment through credit card or debit card, you can select the type of card, MasterCard, Visa, whatever type of card you're using, card number, CVV number, expiry date, and you can pay through credit card or your debit card. Or if you want to make payment through PayPal, you can select PayPal and, you know, you can just fill in all the information. You know, so PayPal will be, you know, you'll be asked for your PayPal information on the next page. So you can select anything whichever you find you know comfortable and easy for you. Now here you have to select your data center location. Now automatically the one which says nearest to you is selected and I always recommend the one which says nearest to you. For example here Singapore says nearest to me. So I'm, I, I'll be selecting Singapore. If you're in United States then you'll probably see Chicago as the nearest to you thing. So whatever thing over here says nearest to you just select that one now uh, the period i would recommend 12 months by default 12 months is selected and i also recommend 12 months because when you select one month you will be charged 20 dollars per month but you select 12 month you'll be charged 13 dollars so you're saving seven dollars per month so indirectly you are saving around 80 dollars per year which is amazing and also in one month plan you have to pay you know if you have to make payment every month so that is a bad idea so i would recommend you to select 12 months you can also select 12, 24 or 36 months if you are very much sure that you will be you know you're running this website or operating this website for a long period of time but at least select 12 months that it that is what i would recommend if you want domain privacy, you can select this thing. Domain privacy is basically, you know, when you create a website, you know, someone, there is something called who is. So whenever someone puts in your domain name on that who is website, you know, they will have access to some of your information like your first name, your address, and sometimes maybe your phone number, I guess. So if you want that to be hidden to, then you can select this domain privacy now here is a very important thing this is a promo code now here you have to type in year 7 and a double y a r and numeric 7 and click on apply now this promo code gives you 7 percent off this purchase and 7 percent is the highest discount that tmd gives on cloud hosting so you're getting the highest discount on cloud hosting so after you complete all these things just check uh, just check in all the information which you have provided and after doing so, just tick mark over here and click on checkout. So once you click on that checkout button, you will receive an email from TMD hosting. And this would look something like this. It has some important information like your FTP, username, password, your server IP, name servers and so on. So make sure you save this email somewhere. If you own, you know, multiple email addresses, then you can mail this and forward this particular mail, uh, particular email to those different mail addresses. That would be nicer for you. Now we have successfully created a hosting account. Now the next step is to install WordPress on that particular website, which we have just created. So here at the bottom, you'll see cPanel link. Just open that link in a new tab. If you don't know your cPanel link, just don't worry, put in your domain name and after that type in for, let me show you, put in your domain name. For example, for me, it is nayashik.com. So I'll put in nayashik.com. After that, I'll put a forward slash and type in cPanel and press enter. You will be redirected to your cPanel account. So this is really, really easy. And here put in the username and password, which we, which you got on that email and click on login. Okay, oh yeah, so this is our cPanel. So most of the companies have a, a very similar, in fact, the same cPanel. Whether you're signing up with HostGator, Bluehost, any hosting company, they all have the same, you know, cPanel, which is really good. And, you know, if you're using one, if you have already used one company, one hosting account with any, uh, any company, you must be familiar with these things. Okay, so what you have to do, you have to go at the bottom and here you will see under Softaculous App Installer, the first option is WordPress. So select WordPress and here click on install now. Now here we have to install WordPress on our domain name. 
So from here, select HTTPS or HTTPS www. Okay, so this is really important because uh, once you select HTTPS, we'll get this secure socket. Okay, and now select the domain name. You will have only one domain name over here because you have created if you have just created your account, but I have created you know many different websites. So I have many different domain name over here. I'll have I'll select this one and just delete this thing. You know, you'll see uh, under indirectly this input. We have WP already typed over there. So just delete that WP and make sure this uh, this this input is blank. There is nothing in this particular blank. After that, we have site setting. You have to put in your site name and description. You can change this thing later on also, or if you want, you can change it from here. For example, your site name could be something like blog dude, and your description could be like anything. You can put in your own description, whatever you like. Now here we have a very important thing admin account. You have to select your username and password. Now don't ever keep the same. I know there are many people who are too lazy. They say, okay, fine. I'll change this thing later on, but don't do that mistake. Don't be, don't be a stupid. Just change it from here. Okay. And put it some, something, you know, unique that only you can remember. And after that, put in a password over here. Okay. And at the bottom, you'll see this admin email, put in any email address which you have access to and at, go at the bottom and click on install. Okay, so as you can see, WordPress is getting installed on our website. It will take few seconds. So just wait uh, until this gets completed. Okay, guys, so this is completed. As I said, you it took around 10, 20 seconds. Now you have two different links over here. The first one is your website link and the second one is the dashboard or the administrative URL link. So you have to cl click on the second one and let's get rid of these tabs now. Okay guys, so this is our dashboard. This is how your dashboard would look like. Now we are seeing that WP super cache is already installed. We don't want this. In fact, this is very important. But now I don't want it. So I'll just click on log out. And by default, there are few themes and plugins which are, you know, automatically installed on your website. The first step that you have to do is to delete all those things because we want our website to be very light. So we don't want any unnecessary thing. So you can just click on this plugin from here and you just deactivate anything that is activated. For example, we have three themes after you deactivate everything. Just click on this thing, tick mark this over here. It will select everything and from bulk action, select delete and click on apply. Now click on OK. OK, so all our plugins, which we need, no, didn't need it, just got deleted. Now go to appearances, click on appearances. Here also you'll see we have three different themes which are automatically and pre-installed. So we have to you know just delete these things because we don't need this things either. So select any one of these, click on delete. Let's get rid of this second one as well. Okay. So we have deleted both the themes and obviously you'll have to keep one theme. Now let's see how our website looks like. So let's scroll. Let's hover this or it would say your website name over here and you'll see this site link. Open this link in a new tab and we can see how our website looks like. So this is how our website looks like at present, but this is totally different. We want to create an amazing website like this. So for that, we need a different theme. Okay. So to get this, that theme, just open a new tab again. And this time type in blog slash coupon. Okay. This link is also given in the video description below. So you don't even have to type that link. Just go in the video description below. Well, click on that link and you will be redirect redirected to this particular page. Okay, so this is the theme which we'll be using. It is a coupon theme. And as you can see, the price is given as $59. Now I am giving you two options over here. Uh, I personally don't recommend purchasing a single product because this website is really cool. This website is mythemeshop.com. So what you can do, you can just click on pricing. 
and here we have three different pricing first one is free theme so free theme are you know this website has few free themes which are not that good so if you want to use those thing you can just click on sign up today but you won't get any premium theme for example we are using coupon you won't get that theme so that is waste of time time you know signing up with free theme and so on now if you want a single product you can sign up today and you can purchase a coupon theme for 59 dollars but the great and the most amazing thing over here is you have something called extended membership and there is some discount going on at present and we are getting the extended membership at just 87 dollars which is amazing why is it amazing because here let us get at the bottom you can see it has this website has 101 premium wordpress themes including coupons so there are hundred of websites or hundred of web wordpress themes like coupon which are premium themes and if you sign up with this membership which is 87 dollars you will get all those themes for free and you will also get 17 premium wordpress plugins okay so there are premium themes premium plugins which you get all for free I mean only if you sign up with $87 so I think it does make sense you know spending $60 on one product and just spending 17 more dollars to get you know hundreds of products so I would highly recommend you to you know sign up with extended membership so that you can get you know all those products for free now if you if you just if you want to do this just click on sign up today okay here it will get you to this page and i i see that okay i, I had some you know store credits this theme or uh, this website also gives some store credit so i am getting more 15 percent 15 dollars discount and the final price for me is 72 dollars for you this might not be the case but for me this is the case okay so what i'll do is i'll click on proceed to payment and you can pay through paypal or stripe but i won't make any payment because i have already purchased this theme so let me show you what happens when you purchase so let me go to mythemeshop.com and click on login from here or i am already logged in so click on members area okay so here it is i have already purchased the coupon theme as you can see over here when i click on this now i can download the theme so if you want to download this theme just click on this theme files and as you can see the download is started but i won't uh, complete this thing because i have already downloaded this theme i was just showing you uh, you guys how you could do this so let me get rid of this once you download that theme file come back to your dashboard on your you know under appearances and click on add new now click on this button which says upload theme and choose the file which you have just downloaded so this is the file which i just downloaded it says mts underscore coupon select this thing and click on open now click on install now so the theme is getting installed so meanwhile the theme is getting installed you guys can do few things you can you know subscribe to my channel if you have not already subscribed and also like the video and share it with your friends if you find it helpful if you have any doubt if you have any query any questions if you want to ask me anything or if you have any video request for me then you can put those in the video in the comment section below now the theme is installed now here some people might have some difficulty you know sometimes what happens is you will get an error which would say you know the maximum size is only 2 mbps or some kind of error so what you can do you can watch this video which i just uploaded yesterday as you can see over here one day ago you can uh, uh, see this video how to set up filezilla ftp server and i i will have one more video in the video, video description below which will show you how to get rid of this uh, uh whatever error that is how you know the max size error i have not uploaded that video but i'll be uploading it today so by the time you're watching this video you'll see that video over here and i'll also give you the link to both of this video in the video description below so watch that video it will solve your problem but for most of you guys you should not have any problem you should be all right till here okay 
Now once you have downloaded and installed the theme, it's time to activate the theme. So click on activate. Okay, so the theme is activated. Now this theme, uh, you know, recommends us few. In fact, this is not a recommendation. It is a requirement. So we have to install few plugins for this theme to work perfectly. Okay, so again, we'll tick mark over here and it will select all the plugins. And from bulk action, we'll select install, click on apply. So all our four of the plugins are getting installed. As you can see, all the four are installed. Now you have to click on this link, which says return to required plugin installer. Now, once we have installed, now it's time to activate all the themes. So again, click tick mark over here. It will select all of them. Now from bulk action, select activate and click on apply. Okay, so all the four plugins are activated. Now you can go to recommended. And there is one more plugin which I recommend because I'll be showing you how to, you know, install that and how to use that plugin. It is a free plugin, but there is also a premium version. If you have uh, first, let me show you the plugin. This is the one WP subscribe. So you can install this plugin. I won't install this plugin, uh, but what I'll do is I'll just click on how our plugins click on add new. I have a premium version of that plugin because as I said you earlier, if you sign up with that extended membership, you get this plugin for free, which I'm just, uh, you know, installing. So click on upload plugin, choose file and the plugins name is WP subscribe pro. This is this plugin comes for free when you sign up with the extended membership on my theme shop. Okay. So that is getting installed. Okay. Unpacking the package and so on. Okay. Now click on activate plugin. Okay, so we have successfully installed the theme and plugin. Now let's refresh the website and see what are the changes. Okay, guys, so this is already looking awesome. Now this looks very much similar to this particular website which we have created. So this is amazing. Now it's time to start creating our coupons. So to do so, you'll see at the left hand side this coupon section or this coupon tag, how our coupons and click on add new. Now let's start you know adding new coupons now here you have to give in some title for example i can give a title like 60 percent off on host get a hosting plan it is really difficult to you know talk and type so please excuse me for that 60 percent off on host get a hosting plans fine because i have a coupon which is let me type in the coupon. It is Nair60. So if you want to uh, sign up with HostGator, you can select and use this coupon, which is Nair60, and you will get 60% discount on a HostGator hosting plans. Okay, so that will really help you. So this is the title. This is the title that you have to put. And you can put some, you know, text about this coupon or about this deal over here. So I won't put any text. What I'll do is I'll go to lipsum.com and okay, not list.com, lipsum.com and I'll grab some dummy text. Okay, so I'll just click on generate lorem ipsum and let me grab this much. Let's copy this. Let's paste it over here. Now, what is the category of this coupon? Which is the category under which it falls? So it would be hosting. Okay, hosting would be a nice category name for this one because this is a hosting coupon. So I'll type in hosting, click on add new category. So you can you know, create a category directly from here, which is really cool. There is no review, but if you want to you know a review type, you can have different review type like uh, star point percentage. I would recommend star and you can give any heading to that, like leave a review, something like that. Okay. And you can also give a review from here, but I don't recommend that, you know, let the user give review about this coupon. So let's see what is left. Now you can put some tags like, you know, here it could be again, hosting could be a tag and host could be another tag. 
tags are very important. For example, when someone clicks on hosting tag, they will see all the coupons and deals related to hosting. And when someone you know clicks on hostgator, they'll see all the coupons which are available for hostgator.com. So that is really important and very good. Now here you have some review description. We, I, as I said you, I would not recommend you putting you know review for your own product. Let the user put the review, okay? Now here it will ask you user review. By default, it is disabled and make sure it is set to enable. Okay, so you can put in your, uh, you, we should, you know, enable this to enable user to put in their review. Now here is some important thing, custom coupon information, feature text. Now what is this feature text? Now let's open any one of the coupon and let's see what that is. For example, let's open, let's see this one. So here this says great deal. So this is the feature text, whatever you put in over here, it will, it will display over here, you know, for example, here we have great deal. Now, instead of great deals, this is the by, by default text. I'll put in 60% off. Okay. Extra rewards. Do they get any extra rewards? So we can put in something like free domain. Okay, like we get in this TMD hosting, I can put in plus free domain and you can put a coupon expiry date. So what I'll do is I'll select the last date available. So 12, uh, 31st of December, 2027 people used, you don't have to put in anything over here. It will, you know, increase automatically whenever someone uses it, it will increase by one. Okay. So you don't have to put any number over here. Promotion type. What is this type of promotion? Is it a deal or a coupon? It is a coupon, but you can also provide a link over here. So what I'll do is I'll put in HTTP colon slash slash and put in blogdo.com slash host gator. Okay. So when, whenever you uh, go to this link blogdo.com slash host gator, you'll be redirected to the host gator account and you will get a good discount. Okay. Now here you have to put in the actual coupon code. So it is N A W Y A R six zero. Okay. So this is the coupon. Whenever someone uses this coupon, they'll get 60% discount. I think that is the highest discount in a host gator. I don't know because 60% is a great insane amount of discount. So whenever someone puts in this, they'll get 60% discount, which is awesome. Now here you have to put in some featured image, which is very important. Okay. If you see you now, these are the featured image. We have Amazon here, Sally and different products, different things over here. So we'll have to upload a featured image. So let's upload a featured image. Click on select files. Let's see whether we have any image or not. Okay. Okay. What you guys can do is let's first publish this without any image. Let's click on publish. Because I am providing whenever I create a website or a tutorial like this, I provide most of the things for free, like the images, the, you know, whatever I have used over there, I provide everything for free. So what you can do is you can go to my website, blogdo.com. I'll also give this link in the video description below. So you can just click on that link and it will redirect you to this particular post. This is the first post. Okay, so this is how to make a coupon website with WordPress 2018. This is related to the video which I'm making right now. So here also you can see, you know, you have TMD hosting, uh, you have host getter hosting discount link, you know, you have 60% off. You have this coupon theme. If you want this theme, you can just click on this thing. And I have this hidden section. Now, if you want to uh install if you want to download these things you can just subscribe to my channel because this is available only for the subscribers if you have already subscribed still you have to click on this to unlock it so just click on over here let's see how it happens let's click on subscribe and select any account so i want to subscribe through this account so i'll select this one and let's select this one again Okay. So I think I'm, yeah, so I am subscribed. So when you subscribe to my channel, you, this link will be unlocked for you. And from here you can download a file. Just click on this download button. Okay. As you can see, the file has been downloaded. This is a very important file. I'll show you why in that file, you have many things. For example, let's go to that file first. Here is the file. This is how the file would look like. 
coupon website tutorial now you shake and when you unzip that file you will have three different folders over here and here we have a folder called media import and this is the file which you have to upload to the website and after you upload that website all the media or the images which i have used in this particular demo website will be available to you let me show you so to do so what you have to do come back to your dashboard and how our tools which is at the bottom and click on import now here you have different options like you if you want to import from blogger from blog roll from rss tumblr so i want to import it as you know wordpress so what i'll click on i'll just click on this install now button because first we have to install the installer or the importer now click on run importer now choose the file which is under media so this is this will be under media import choose this file and click on open now click on upload file and import now it will ask you whether you want to assign this to a new user or to an existing user now i will assign this to an existing user so i'll select this uh, here it is my username and tick mark this thing download and import file attachment and click on submit okay so as you can see oh uh, it says failed to do so let's see why is that let's click on media we don't have any media let's try it again let's try it again and see what was the problem let's click on import run importer select the file this is the file yes click on open upload file and import again the same steps click on submit okay it is saying fail to import i don't know why okay i know the reason uh that is because i deleted the website from which i you know exported this file so what happens is this file goes to that website sends a request to that websites and tells you know what i want all the images and so on and you get the images but that is not happening over here because i have deleted that website but this thing won't happen with you you will be able to install everything okay so this will not happen to you now what i'll do is i will just pause this video and i'll repeat this step and i'll show you everything okay so see you after some time okay guys let's try again let's see what happens i have updated that file and hopefully this time everything should be fine so again what i'll do is i'll hover appearances and click on import and the same thing run importer choose file and i have uploaded this file uh, i have updated this file okay so i can select this file now click on open click on upload file and import now select this thing the user tick mark over here click on submit okay guys so as you can see now it says all done and everything is fine so that was the problem i actually deleted the website from which i you know exported that file so that was the problem and that is solved now we should have all the images now let's click on media and now as you can see we have all the images which we'll be needing uh, you know in this website we have all the images from the demo website which you have created so the thing and the you know now it will be very easy for us to do anything now again let's go to coupons and let's edit the one which we left so let's click on edit now let's scroll down and let's click on featured image now we can select any image from the media library i have given you all this uh, images so that you know it can be very easy for you to you know start creating a website you you have some text you have some content with you because many a times you it happens that you have just started the thing and you have no content but you still want to create a website so for for the time you get your original content you can use these things to create you know a dummy kind of content okay so let's select this ebay logo ebay image and click on set featured image 
So let's update this coupon. Now let's view this post how it looks like. Oh yeah, so as you can see now this is how it is looking. Now later on in this video I'll be changing this. I want instead of this text I want the image which you have just set the eBay image to show over here. So I'll show you how to do that in the later section of this video. Now let's just create one more coupon. Okay, so this is how you create a coupon. But let me create one more so that I can show you again. Because uh, in the earlier coupon section, we had some distractions. Now let's create this one. Now this time I'll put in 7% off on TMD. Let's type in like this TMD hosting cloud packages cloud hosting plans maybe okay fine now again we can copy some dummy text paste it over here obviously you won't be copying dummy text and pasting you will just type in something about this code or some something about this coupon or the deal for example you can type in like you know if it is a region if it is some you know limited uh, limited offer then you can type in about you know this is a limited uh, time offer it is limited only up to 31st december so make sure you use it before that or something like that okay but obviously you don't put the dummy content over here i'm doing it because this is just a dummy website you know i'm just showing you and teaching you guys now this also belongs to the same category which is hosting so i'll select this one and after this the same thing now here again instead of great deal i'll type in seven percent off now in tag again it can be now it will be tmd hosting okay and hosting so we have hosting over here we have two tags for this one extra reward here also we have plus free domain okay which is awesome now set coupon expiry date so you can set in any expiry date you want okay let's select this one people use will be updated automatically so you don't have to play around with that is it a deal or a coupon again it is a coupon now again i'll type in my website blogtocom slash tmd now this is the website which you have to type you know someone whenever someone clicks on that button uh, show the coupon code you know the coupon code is shown but also one thing happens is that a new window is opened and this is the link which will be opened so you have to put in this link now you put in the coupon code for here i have nayar 7 which i just showed you when you know while we were creating the uh, the TMD hosting this is the coupon code we used NAYAR7 to get 7% discount now let us add a featured image to this one and this time let's select this Amazon one and click on set featured image now click on publish now let's see how this looks like so let's view this in a new tab Oh yeah, so this is also looking fine. And when someone clicks on this show coupon, as I said, you know, this thing is opened in a new tab, the link which we put over there. And when we cancel this and come back over here, we have this, you know, pop up 7% discount. This is the coupon. When you click on this, this coupon is automatically, you know, copied. And later on in this video, I'll show you how you can put a, you know, bottom section, which I showed you in the demo website will be you know collecting the emails of the user which will be very helpful for us so i'll show you if you stick to this video till the end you'll learn a lot i promise you that okay let's get rid of this now similarly obviously i cannot show you again and again i have already shown you two times how to create a coupon now the same process will repeat and you can create hundreds of coupons now again what i'll do i'll import the coupons so that now this is again a bonus thing for you because if you're creating a new website you don't have many coupons but you know you can import the coupons which i'm providing you and you know that would really help you you know that will really help you to build a website you know or some dummy content and so on so again we'll see the same step we'll go to tools and we'll click on import now again click on run importer now again click on choose file now this time what you have to do you have to open this folder which you downloaded 
and in that folder we have another folder which says coupon import select that select this file click on open click on upload file and import okay now same thing just select any user or you can just create a new user and assign assign all these coupons to that user if you want now tick mark this thing download and import file attachments and click on submit okay so it took around few seconds and it says all done so let's see whether all everything is done or it is just saying something so let's click on coupons now as you can see there are so many coupons already created for us so this is very helpful you know when you know when you're just building your website from scratch you don't have any content then these import export thing helps a lot okay so this is how you do it so let's see our website let's refresh the website and let's see what are the changes that have taken place now you'll see that nothing has changed it's still the same but you when you you know oh, put in your url you put in your website name slash coupons c-o-u-p-o-n-s obviously and press enter you will see that there are so many coupons already created in fact which we just created and imported and this is how it looks like okay so this is how you create a coupon now let's see how to create a category for the coupon so again come back to your dashboard at the left hand side we have this coupon we clicked on add new to add a new coupon now what you have to do you have to click on categories to add new categories for coupon and we have already seen this hosting thing so you can create a category from uh, the same coupon page or you can create some category from here but here i want to show you something like this this is called parent category so this is very important now why is this important for example you know you have something like first you have an amazon coupon okay so you'll type in amazon you'll leave the slug name you'll leave everything blank just type in amazon in the name and click on add new category a new category has been added now you have this clothing category already in the amazon but if you want to create a new clothing category so and so you know what will happen is this thing will you know dispute this and this that will not happen but what is here is this we will select a parent category amazon because amazon is a single category but amazon is very big company you have many kind of products in amazon you have clothing electronics fashion and so on so we can select a parent category and we can have some child category for that so under parent category amazon we have clothings and when you click on this add new category you will see this line at uh, before clothing so this says that this is a child category so this is also you can do okay you can also do this way now let me delete this because we don't need these two i was just showing you how you can do this now again when we click come back to the page which is just created and we see the single post when you see at the bottom we see this thing in the about the author and my name is uh, actually showing the username which is very dangerous you know when people know your username they'll try to put in some random pass password and try to you know uh, access your dashboard and also this is not looking very good we have this underscore after my name so i don't want that and i don't have any description about my about myself so to solve all this problem again you have to come back to your dashboard at the right hand side top you have this section when you hover this it says how do you shake now you can click on anything if you click on naya shake or your name obviously it will be over here or you can click on edit my profile both the thing will take you to the same place so let's click on edit my profile now both the thing will take you to the same place as i said you now instead of nickname instead of this is the username which we selected now we have to change this i'll just type in my name but without an underscore and display name publicly as i'll select the new one okay whatever you type in over here you'll get that option so i'll select this now this is without underscore so this is not my username okay now here you'll have your biographical info something about you so I don't want to put anything about me right now. I'll just again grab some Laura Mipsim and paste it over there. Just put it over here. You can also change your profile picture from here, but I won't do that. Now let's click on update profile. Let's refresh this page and let's see the changes now. 
now as you can see i have my name i don't have that underscore i have my biopic over here all these things and everything is fine now okay so everything is fine now let's come back to our dashboard now most of the thing in fact the most important thing is done which was to create a coupon now let's start building the home page and let's start building our website okay because now we have the content we have the coupons now we can start you know creating and designing our website so to do so just click on this theme option at the top you'll have this theme option at the top just click on theme options okay so the first thing is general settings now let's start building or you know designing our website one by one the first thing if you see in the demo website we have a beautiful coupon a beautiful logo i'm always saying coupon because you know creating a coupon page and always using the same word so that happens so we have a logo over here and in this website which we just created we don't have a logo we have the site name but i want my logo over here so let's put that now under logo image click on browse and select your logo image whatever it is okay so i already have this one so this is the one this is logo.png select this one click on select image now as you can see this is the logo now you also have to select the fav icon so say, click on that select and this is the fav icon this is fav icon.png whatever image you're selecting as fav icon it should be a square image which means the you know pixels should be same like it is 64 into 64 pixels which is this this kind of website a you know, square image select this click on select image and fav icons are these as you can see when in my demo website in this top we have this fav icon this scissor and when we see youtube we have this fav icon at the top over here okay so this is what a fav icon is very important you can have some touch icon metro icon you can put in your tooth Twitter username. Let me put in my Twitter username. It is real near. You can follow me on Twitter. Feed burner URL. We won't be using feed burner. That is, you know, old ways of doing thing. Uh, feed burner is a very old thing. We'll be using Mailchimp. I will show you everything. Now, if you want to put in some, you know, Google Analytics code and so on, you can put in over here. So this is also a very good thing because normally to do this, you have to do some really technical thing like either opening your theme files, the main files and putting your tags over there or, you know, installing a new plugin and then doing all those things. But here we have a different section for that. So you can easily put in those things over here. Now we have Ajax quick search. Now this is very important and very useful. Make sure that this is on. I'll show you what this is. Okay. So first, first let's see all the settings. After that, I'll show you what that Ajax quick search is. Now responsiveness, whether you want this website to be mobile responsive or not, obviously, yes. How can a website be, you know, how a website be not mobile friendly in today's time? And mobile friendly websites are ranked higher, by the way, on Google. So make sure you make this thing on. Now left to right language support. If you're creating a website, this coupon website in Arabic and those kind of language which use, you know, right to left language. Because in English, we read like this from left to right. But in Arabic, in Urdu, we have you now things going from right to left. Okay, so if you have the, those kind of website, you can make this on number of product to show it is by default nine which is fine so okay so after doing all these changes just click on save changes now let's come back to our website let's refresh this and let me show you what that ajax thing is okay now here is our website nothing has changed but when you put in your search bar and type in something like amazon okay as you can see here it it has used amazon thing that's why it is showing and we have created host gator so let's type in host gator i know you are getting two host when we type in host because hosting is used in both the thing so this is a live search you know we don't have to type in then click on search then it will take us to another page then we'll have the search result here we have everything uh, happening live so that is what ajax search is very very important so once you're done with the general settings, come back again and click on performance. Now this is again, I really like the way these guys have created the theme. 
now they have simplified everything guys it is really really easy uh, I'll, I'll show you more when we go to this section home page section you'll understand how easy it is to create a website because of the well, the quality of theme these guys have developed i really appreciate it okay now the performance thing now here the first option is prefetching so what happens is suppose you're on this page single page okay single post page and you know obviously there are high chances that after that you might see the home page so what prefetching does is it will you know before you go to the website it will load that load that page so what happens is the page load decreases and the page speed increases so that indirectly increases the performance of the website and obviously as I said you earlier, this when the page speed is higher, you'll get a better ranking on Google search engine. Okay, now lazy load. Now make this thing on as well because this is also very important. For example, when you scroll down, this is not happening because I have not yet saved the settings. Now here we have one image. Now here we might have you know ten different images. So what happens is when you use more images on your website the page load increases which is very bad you know we don't want to increase the page load we don't want you know user coming to our page and it is still loading that is not a good thing at all so what lazy load does is you know it will load only uh, first for example the user comes to this page and now suppose you have one image over here so the only that much time is taken and it does not load the images which are at the bottom which are uh, from your you know, away from your viewpoint we are seeing and we are viewing only this section now when we scroll down and we see this image after we come to this section now this thing will load so what happens is this increases the performance so make sure you make this lazy load on so whether you want to apply lazy load to feature image and uh, to post content images you can select both but I don't recommend selecting featured image because maybe yeah fine featured images for fine we, we don't want you know this to happen to featured images but for content images this is fine now async javascript so to add a async javascript to improve page download speed so you can make this thing on because you know it is improving your performance of the website remove where parameter also make this thing on you know so removing uh, this parameter from css and javascript files it will you know improve the speed in some browser which do not cache files having the parameters optimize woocommerce script make this on we won't be using woocommerce but you can make this thing on now click on save changes obviously now if you refresh the website nothing will happen because we haven't done any you know designing stuff now we are just doing some simple settings this was related to performance and I think this was a very important setting this will improve the performance of your website now come to styling option when you click on styling option first option is color scheme now if you see over here by default we have this red color scheme you know we have this red color search bar icon we have this red color button but you know you might not like the chances that you might not like this color and suppose you want this blue color this beautiful color okay so what you'll do you'll select this color and before going anything uh, let's first save changes and let's see what happens now let's refresh the website now as you can see now everything has become all the thing has become blue this button this icon whatever thing here as well okay so if you want this scheme you can select any color scheme if you want this if you like this you can select this okay but what i'll do is i'll just keep this thing to default because this is what i have used in the demo website so i want to create exactly like this okay so i'll keep that thing to default here we have left sidebar if you want to make it right sidebar you can select right sidebar it's all up to you background color the background color is white as you can see it's all white background but you can change the background color as well you can change it to black blue whatever you want you can also have some you know patterns or some image in the background but i don't recommend that because that will you know increase the page load time which is very bad we want a simple white background color that is looking fine that is looking nice clean okay so i would never recommend you to you know use any colorful background color or any 
uh, kind of image specially you can use patterns because patterns use a very small amount you know they are very small images and they are just repeated okay that is a bit technical just don't try to understand that but never use a image in the background never ever just use a simple background white background color that will be fine you can add a parallax effect again i don't recommend that because we want to this today there is a lot of competition there will be hundred of people watching this video thousands of people maybe and all of them want to create a coupon website so you know the one who creates a better one whose website is faster who is performing much better will obviously win the race so we don't want all these extra things which are not required you can add in some custom css if you want now click on save changes fine so this was the styling option basic styling option now we'll have this header styling option if you want to change the color of this header and so on so let's see let's go to header the next option now as you can see the by default this is the background color which is selected this is as you can see over here now suppose if you want to change this if you want to make this thing like red or something you can select this thing okay and after that we have this section let's see again you can you know use some different color pattern or different image or gradient in the header it's all up to you now let me show you what a gradient is by the way it is a combination of two color for example let's select red from and let's select two blue okay so we have selected two colors let's save changes and let's see now this will change the color of this header which you see over here let's refresh okay as you can see now this is also looking cool and you now you have this red color over here and this is a mix up of both this color red and blue so this is also looking fine i i kind of like this thing but i believe in keeping things very simple so what i'll do is i'll just click on default again default and again at the top we'll keep keep this thing to default okay again you can use parallel effect which i don't recommend show header search form so if you want to hide this thing never do that but you know you have this option i don't know why these guys have given this option but if you want to hide this thing you can do so but why would you hide that man people are coming to your website they will obviously searching they will obviously be searching for something so they'll search something over there why will you hide it so don't hide your search form at all now you can change the placeholder for example here it says search for ebay amazon pizza etc and here it, if you see under the search form that is what the placeholder is if you want to change this thing you can change it it's all it's all in your hand okay show header login and registration form okay here it is login and registration form now if you if you don't want others to submit their coupons to your website you can just make this thing off okay okay but i will make this thing on for now and i also recommend to make this thing off but if you want a website wherein you know even visitors and users can provide their coupon code then you can make this thing off on i'm sorry i am making this thing on because i will have to show both the thing you know so i'm making this thing on now we have navigation background we have this navigation over here this menu thing over here we have this gray background color and if you want to change this thing you can change the background color of that as well for example if you want to change it to maybe what let's see suppose if you want to change it to yellow which would look very bad but just to show you guys you can do so floating navigation menu now if you see over here when we scroll down the navigation menu is gone so just again to go to the menu we'll have to scroll up but when you click on when you make this thing on floating navigation menu then what will happen is the menu navigation menu will float with us or will be will stick with us okay so whether we you know scroll down scroll up it will be up there with us okay i'll show you after we save changes show menu yes we want to show menu show logo yes let's save changes and let's see the changes that have taken place again come back to your website refresh and let's see okay so as you can see the color of this navigation thing has changed and when we scroll down the navigation is with us as you can see this is with us okay let's change now let's again make this thing default 
okay i don't want any pattern anything i just want to make it this thing default also this color i want to make it default click on save changes let's refresh it again okay everything is looking normal which is fine now again come back to this setting page and let's see let's load it okay fine let's see the next thing next we have footer okay so this is the section the footer section this is the section we'll be playing playing around with now now footer widget make this thing on why because if you see in the demo website we have some widgets these are different widgets actually we have four different widgets over here so we want those over here so make this thing on footer background color this is the default background color again if you want to change this you can change it if you can have gradient you can have all these thing patterns and so on you can select how many columns you want in the footer widget three or four here in the demo website we have one two three four columns so i'll select four from here extra foot footer text now this text which you see over here this is the extra footer text okay so here it is if you want to change this text you can just change it from here and this footer text content you can change both this thing from here okay now footer social icons here it is our full footer social icons if you don't want this you can just hide it you know you can just make this thing off and you can change the footer social icon in fact you have to change it obviously why would you keep this thing de to default for example facebook so my facebook thing is http colon slash slash facebook.com slash real nayar okay click on okay now similarly twitter it's http colon slash slash it's twitter.com slash real nayar okay and similarly obviously you can put in all your uh, uh, social icons over here if you want to add some new you can click on add new you can select which icon you want you know drupal and vira dropbox dig dribble i don't know who uses all these things man there are many different things whatever you like you can select this i don't want it so i'll just delete this icon okay after this we have background color we want the same background color and here you have the copyright text okay you this text this copyright blog dude copyright 2017 and so on and after that we have this my theme copyright text and this is the text which is at the uh, at over here so you might want to change this obviously so theme by my theme shop so here it is theme by my theme shop so i don't want this what i'll what i will do over here is i'll put in created by and instead of my theme shop i'll put in nayar shake so i'll put in my name nayar shake and i would really highly appreciate if you guys also do the same thing okay if you just type in created by and type in my name nayar shake and if you replace this icon which is under this double uh, uh, double colons this is what we call it i guess okay under a h r e f you have this link my theme shop.com uh, you can change that link and put in my channel link over there my youtube channel link i would really highly appreciate that because that would redirect people to my channel i would really really appreciate that okay so you after doing so just click on save changes now let's refresh this website again and let's see what are the changes that have taken place now as you can see we have this line over here that is because now we have our uh, the widget sec uh, section enabled and we'll be adding widgets later on in this video now we have my company name blog dude copyright 2017 created by nayar shake when someone clicks on this link they will be redirected to my youtube page okay so this was our footer section now let's go to the home page section now first option is layout but i don't want to play around with layout because i don't have anything on my website on my home page let's go to our home page let's see so we don't have anything over here so we first we'll have to create something so the home page if you see in the demo website first we have this carousel okay so we have this beautiful carousel so let's create a carousel first so under home page you will see the second option is carousel click on carousel and the title is today's offers and coupons if you see over here here is the title today's offers and coupons if you want to change this title you can change it from here 
but I don't want to change it. I think this is fine. This is looking good. And now let's start adding some carousels. So click on add carousel title. Okay. So as you can see, the title is actually not displayed over here. We are, we are displaying the image. The title is not displayed. So you can put in any title. For example, here it is seamless. So what I'll do is I'll just type in seamless. This is just for me. This, this will not be shown and visible to the user. This is just for me to remember the name of this uh, carousel description. Now description will be shown. Now this is the description here. It says flat 20% off. So this is the description on $300 and above. So this will be shown. Now let's type flat 20% off on $300 and above. Okay, so this will be shown. Now what I'll do, I'll just copy this text because I don't want to type in all these different text, 60% off, $6 off and so on. That will take a lot of time and it will take, uh, it will waste your time. So I don't want to do that. Now we have seamless. Now we have to upload the image. Now under uh, image, you have this browse section, click on browse. Now let's search for that one. Here it is seamless. Select this. Now we can change the border color. For example, here the border color is gray color. And when we hover over this, it becomes this beautiful color. So you can change those things over here, you know, background color, border color, text color, and you can link this thing. For example, if you have created a category for some for this particular thing, you can put in that link over here. Now click on OK. Now first, let's click on save changes and let's first make sure whether this thing is working or not. So let's go to our home page. Okay, guys, so we have this thing over here. So this is working. Now let's start. Uh, let's create some more. Okay, just to make it more beautiful. So again, come back over here, click on add new carousel. Let's see next is eBay. So I'll just type in eBay and I'll paste in the same description because I don't want to waste your time. Browse image and we'll select eBay. This is the one select this thing and everything is fine. Okay. After that we have Sally and after that we have Amazon. So first let's add Sally. Same description image. Okay, this is the one select this click on OK. Click on add carousel. After this, we, we have Amazon. Okay, as you can see, this title is just for your sake. So you know, okay, this was the one with uh, which was related to eBay. So suppose if you want to make some changes in the future, you can just click on this, you don't have to search which was the one. Okay, so that is important. Put in the description, image, Amazon, select it click on OK. After that, we have try try tell. I don't know what this is. Try tell. Whatever it is, just type in the title over here. Okay, try tell. Paste it in the description. So let's upload the image over here. Click on OK. And the last one is Shopify. So click on add carousel title will be Shopify description will be same image will be Shopify image. Let's search for that. This is the one select image. Click on OK. Click on save changes. Now everything should be fine. Now come back to your website refresh and let's see the changes that have taken place. OK, so we have a very beautiful carousel and this is working as you can see. You can scroll with your mouse. You can click on these buttons to scroll. So this is really looking amazing. Now what I have to do, I want this section on all my pages. Okay, so let's do that again. Come back to this page and here at the bottom, you have show carousel on other pages. So I want to show carousel on coupon archive page on single coupon page, block page, single post page, single block page. So I want to show this on all the pages. So I'll select everything and click on save changes, which we have already done. Now, after that, we have to create this slider. So let's do that. Come back to the settings, click on slider. Okay, now first let's add some slider. After that, we'll see all these settings and so on. So to add a slider, just click on add slide. And as I said you earlier, guys, they have really made it really easy for us. We don't have to, you know, un install a new plugin to add a slider, a new plugin to add a carousel and so on. Everything is given in one single page. You just have to go step by step 
and everything will be done okay now let's see what we have here now here the title will be visible to the user okay so the first title is 70% off now I won't type the same thing again again I will just type paste in the code which I have copied and I'll upload the image now let's see the first image is this one so let's select this image now again just to remind you guys all the images are given so you don't have to search for this this is the one click on select image click on ok fine and so easy you know with that uh, simple step we have added a slide now let's add another slide let's put in the same title just to save some time click on browse image and the second one is this bag image and this is the one select this one click on select image click on OK click on add slide again the third image is the shoes image so you can put in the title browse select this shoe image click on select image OK after that we have this section and we have this beautiful image click on add slide select that image this is the one click on select slide OK and the last slide is this one this watch beautiful watch okay select click on add slide put in the title select that image here it is click on select image or select slide click on ok so we have added i think five different slides and you can give some animation for example here you see this is the slide animation you can give fade animation you can change the background color for example here the this is the background color this purple color if you want to change this you can change that color you can put some pattern upload some image gradient in the background i don't recommend that and after that obviously again you can make it parallax effect if you want but i don't want to do that so i'll just click on save changes now again come back to your website let's refresh this and let's see the changes okay guys so we have created two beautiful sections the carousel section and this section and both are working fine you know when you click on this and we have this fade animation which is looking fine okay so we have created two sections or very easily now let me show you that layout section which I which we just skipped so the first one was layout now suppose I want this section at the top the slider section at the top and uh, below that i want this carousel section so i can do it easily i can just drag this slider at the top and the carousel at the bottom and click on save changes now come back to this website refresh and let's see now as you can see when i refreshed the slider is now at the top and we have the carousel at the bottom in fact we can dis you know disable any one of this section whichever we want okay so for example, I just don't want the slider section. So what I'll do is I'll drag the slider section and put it under disabled and click on save changes. And over here again, I'll refresh the website. Now, as you can see, now we don't have the slider section at all. Okay, so you can do so, you know, it's all in your hand, whatever you like, however you like your website, you can design it that way, okay? And it is really easy, but I want this slider section. So let's get the slider section below carousel. And we also want this subscribe section, which is which is disabled. We want this about sign up section. OK, so make this uh, put this subscribe section about sign up section. And this section will only be visible if you have, you know, uh, installed the WP subscribe uh, free plugin or WP subscribe pro plugin. OK, both the plugin will work this. Now click on save changes. Now again, refresh this website. Everything should be normal. We have the carousel, the slider and everything. Okay. So this is working. Now again, come back to the settings. Let's re okay. Let it reload. Okay, fine. Now let's see. We have seen the carousel, the slider. Now let's see the category tab. Now first let's see. Okay. This is the category tab. You have different categories different tabs with category when we click on that for example when we click on electronics we see all the coupons all the offers all the deals related to electronics category very important again let's add this so to do so as i said you click on just click on this category tabs 
and let's add our first category tab so just click on add category tab and let's select clothing click on ok it is that simple guys we just click on add new category select the category click on ok and done let's select the third one food ok done fifth one hosting ok it's done and the last one okay we have travel click on okay now we can limit the number of posts to be shown for example here we have one two three four five six seven eight post and the default value is also eight i think eight is fine that is looking good and you can change the uh, background color for this one the white background color is uh, looking nice so i don't want to change that i want to keep it to default okay now click on save changes and let's refresh our website and let's see the changes okay so we have this section as well now you know we have this hosting travel all these different sections okay i think i clicked somewhere else let's go back to our home page okay so we are done with this section as well now let's see the next section after this we have this section which is already over here okay which is by default over here but the only thing we have to do is change the links and if you want to change this title obviously you can change it from here let's see so we have the social icons if you want to change the title if you want to change the background color again you can change that if you want to change the section title you can change it from here and to change the url the link of your facebook you can just change it from here so let me again put in my url http colon slash slash facebook.com slash blog dude okay and similarly you can put in all your urls so here you can add some more social links social icons if you want click on save changes it is already over here so we don't have to refresh the page to see the changes because it is already given over here now let's see the next setting uh, let's see over here so here in the demo website you will see we have popular stores and when we hover this we have a different color and different text okay for all these things so let's create this one now we have one two three okay six at the top and six at the bottom i think we'll create only six because creating 12 of this will take a lot of time so we want to save some time because you know it is doing the same thing again and again okay to do so again come back to this page and uh, click on popular stores over here and you can change the uh, section title instead of popular stores you can you know select most selling stores or something like that okay now we have seller uh, store items to click click cre create a new store item just click on add store name this store for example here it is amazon and again here as well the store name is not visible to the user it is only for your sake the image and the offer is visible okay so i'll type in amazon this is only for me and i'll upload the logo image let's select amazon from here this is the one select it header text here it says 12 offers so if you have 12 offers related to amazon or on your website you can type in 12 offers if you have more offers or less offers you can type it over here if you have 12 coupons instead you can type in 12 coupons and so on okay and obviously you have to link it to the coupon uh, related to you know amazon you know so you can just change the link click on ok now so we have added one okay i think we missed something yeah we missed one thing we can change this hover color when we hover this the color changes so for amazon this is this orange kind of color so let's select that so we have store background colors store hover background color so this is the one we have to select store hover background color let's select this orange color click on ok let's click on save changes come back to your website let's refresh and see the changes okay so we have a popular store over here and when we hover this as you can see we have this orange color in the background and we have our text 12 offers okay so we can do so we can create different store and put in some different background color now let's create another store click on add store and let's create ebay with a blue background color and text which says 32 coupons okay 
so it's eBay okay logo image let's select that this is the one click on select image and here we'll say 32 or 23 coupons background color will be blue in this case click on ok now click let's click uh, or create another store click on add store this time it is trade tello i don't know what this is trade tello trade tello okay let's upload the image this is the one let's see the hover text maybe 10 deals we can find um, deals background color for this maybe it can be red click on ok let's add three more click on add store let's add sally click on just type in sally at the title name or store name select the image select this sally image click on select image hover text maybe five offers okay it can it can be anything sally the icon or the logo image is pink so let's select a pink color for this one let's select pink from here this is pink i guess i don't know yeah this is pink click on ok after that we have let's add shopify after that okay click on add store name will be shopify logo image browse image and let's search for shopify over here this is the one and shopify logo color is green so let's add a green background color fine click on ok now let's add the last one let's 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 add seamless over here okay click on add store type in seamless at the top let's select the image this is the one and here i'll put in i just don't put anything that is the default background color which is black now let's click on save changes let's refresh our website and everything should be fine okay so here we have now when we hover this we see different text and okay we forgot to put text on both this thing which is fine okay now after that we have this section but i don't know why this section is not showing over here uh we no we had made this thing okay i don't know why click on subscribe this says this will not work without this but we have already installed this but still this is not working i don't know what's the issue we have this thing in the demo but we don't have it over here i don't know why is that so but don't worry we'll see that later on first let's move on so after that we have this sign up thing so when you click on this sign this is the one the we have some text a button and this button is redirected to some page okay so before this of uh, before you want you put this thing because for this you'll need to create or uh, you'll need to allow users to sign up to your website or to register to your website and by default that is disabled by default wordpress you know disables the registration so first we'll have to fix that so to do so click on settings at from the left hand side and go at the bottom you'll see this membership and after that we have this thing now just tick mark over here which says anyone can register and click on save changes okay now again we can go to theme options click on theme options from the top okay scroll down and we were on sign up now select sign up and okay okay here it is now we can change this sign up title and so on so here it says sign up and start earning extra cash back with blah 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 and we have a button which says sign up for free so if you want to change anything from here you can do so okay and here is the button sign up for free you can put in the button url so you have to put in the sign up url okay which is over here so what you can do you can just copy this link from here you know how our sign up click on copy link address and paste this link over here okay and click on save changes let's refresh so everything will be fine only that link will be changed okay now when we click on this link it will redirect us to that sign up page link okay okay guys so with this we have completed the home page successfully 
and let's see what is what we have next we'll see this footer section at the last okay first let's see what we have next in the theme options we'll go according to the theme options okay so after that we have coupon archive so how the coupon archive page looks we can change it from here let's see how it looks at present so what you can do is we don't have any menu so we'll have to type it over here after your website name just type in slash what is that okay slash coupons okay so this is your coupon archive page and this is how it looks now we can change something over here and this is very important and very good okay so the title page title it says offers and coupons you have this thing over here offers and coupons okay so instead of you can change it anything for example coupons and deals just to show you that it, you can change it from here 202 offers plus up to 10% extra reward so maybe we can add like 104 offers or 104 coupons let's type in 104 coupons and instead of up to 10% reward let's make instead up to 50% extra reward okay number of coupons to show here it is 6 and I think that is fine you can make it 5 or 6 is fine coupon archive sidebar single or per category okay so we have single sidebar which is fine exclude expired coupons you can make this thing on if you want i think you should make this thing on but i'm not doing this but you should do this okay coupon thumbnail now this is what i want i don't want the text over here you know it says seven percent sixty percent instead i want the thumbnail the amazon image the ebay image and so on okay so instead of text i'll select image now the post meta information now here you see how many people have used this posted by which author when is this expiring so if you want these things you can uh, keep this thing under enable and you can change the thing for example if you want the author at the bottom you can select author at the bottom and we have people used in fact if you don't want the author at all you can just drag the author in the disabled section it's all up to you okay now pagination type here at the bottom you will see this pagination type is numbered you can change this thing uh, to ajax load more auto infinite scroll and so on next and previous i think numbered is good so make keep this thing to numbered click on save changes come back to your website let's refresh and see the changes okay guys so this is looking awesome now okay we have a different uh, thing over here it says up to 50 percent extra rewards and instead of those you know boring text we have beautiful images over here so this is looking amazing i really like this thing okay so let's see what we have next we are done with the coupon archive now we have coupon single how a coupon single page looks like so let's see how it looks like it's like let let's click on single coupon so this is the single coupon page and this is how it is looking now let's see what we can change over here now again coupon single page layout now how what is the layout which you want so uh, for example the default layout is at the top we have the content then we have recent offers then we have related offers then we have author box okay and we also have this subscriber box i want this subscriber box about the author box okay you can also have these tags let's let's keep these tags okay but before let's see how it looks before uh, without that okay here we don't have tags here we don't have that subscriber form and i think the tags will be just after the post content okay let's re save changes and let's see how it is looking at present so let's refresh this page so we have the content we have the tags which we just put we have the recent offers related offers about the author and again i don't know why this subscriber thing is not working we have installed the subscriber plugin let's check that again actually okay let's go to plugins click on install plugins and okay yeah here we have wp subscriber pro i think we have to do some changes yeah we have to do some changes over here under settings wp subscribe pro 
oh we should do now or we should do later uh, let's do it now okay so hover sub settings and click on wp subscribe pro okay we have not enabled anything so just click on enable pop-up now this is a pop-up and this is very important and this is really cool okay so what do you want in pop-up you want do you want to show related post do you want to and you can also see this preview for example at by default it is show subscribe form in pop-up you can increase the width of this you can increase you know change this animation overlay color and so on let's preview height how it looks like click on preview pop-up so this is how it will look and this is looking nice so i would save changes and you can do some changes over here let me show you for example you can change the content here it says get more stuff like this in your inbox so for instead of this if you want to type in something else you can do so then at the bottom it says uh, it says we respect your privacy and so on so if you want to change this text and so on you can change it easily let me show you how click on pop-up content and from here you can change everything you can change the color for example this is the layout color but if you don't want this layout color you can select you can just change anything from here for example instead of this background color you can select this blue background color okay it is not uh, showing but it will happen okay and we also have some predefined color set so when you click on this and let's select the first one now let's preview the pop-up okay so this is how it will look like you can change this thing uh, again if you want some different background color for example white background color you can do so click on save changes now again click on pop-up content and as i said you earlier we uh, we won't be using feed burner we'll be using a uh, mailchimp so select mailchimp from here and you have to you know add a mailchimp api url so open a new tab and type in mailchimp.com and if you if you don't know how to use mailchimp and if you want to learn uh, email marketing for free what you can do is you can just go to my you know youtube page and i have recently uploaded this video free email marketing it is one hour 10 minutes long video which means it is a nice lengthy video you can learn a lot how to convert you know users you know, visitors into your subscribers you know how to increase uh, your subscriber list and how to you know do email marketing for free i have shown everything over there okay so you can watch that video that is very helpful i will give this link in the video description below you can check out uh, check out that video okay now here click on login i'm i'm showing you where you can find your api okay now once you log in you have this thing at the top you click on all this and click on profile now from here you have this option extras click on extras and click on api keys and uh, we don't have uh, no we we do have a api key just select this thing copy it from here and come back over here paste it okay now when you see this uh, it says there is no list now what you can do uh, once you have pasted in your api key you can click on get list and after that you will see all the list which you have created over here and obviously if you don't know anything about it you won't understand what i am doing right now but once you once you watch that video which i am talking about it will clear all your doubts okay so i'm selecting this list and you can change anything from here for example if you want to say instead of sign up now if you want to change this text you can do it easily okay so this is what i want i'll click on save changes okay now we have third option pop-up triggers so when should this pop-up trigger when should this pop-up show to the user so it you can select this uh, show pop-up when visitor and en enters the site i don't recommend this show pop-up after 15 seconds you can increase or decrease the timing and this is most important the fourth one show pop-up when visitor is about to leave okay and you can set the cookie expiration so once the visitor have visited your website so till 14 days after 14 days from that day he won't see this pop-up again but after 14 days when he comes again to your website he again will see this pop-up okay now click on save changes now let's see whether this is working so let's refresh our website 
now when we scroll down after 50 se 15 seconds that pop-up will show but there is one more option which we enable let me show you when we go at the top as you can see when we try to you know close this thing this thing showed up and this is really helpful very very helpful guys so you can use this thing uh, to generate you know to increase your subscriber list to increase your audience and so on okay so this is how you use it so this was related to pop-ups now come to single posts okay and make this thing enable now uh, we, we we have to show this thing in the single post this is this was different pop-up and this thing is different okay i'll show you what this is now where where do you want to show this uh, subscriber form okay so i'm going to show this after the post content so i'll select after the post content and again instead of feed burner i'll select mailchimp I'll put in the same API over here. I'll select the same list and you can change all these things from here. You can change the color, you know, settings from here again. And let's save the settings and let's see whether this is working now or not. Let's refresh this page and see the changes. Okay. Okay, we don't have it still. I think there's something wrong going on. Let's, okay. Let's do one more thing. Uh, we have done all the settings over here. And uh, let's save this again. Let's refresh it again. Okay, even if, if still it is not showing, there is another option what you can do. You can come back to your dashboard and hover appearances and open widgets. Okay. Now when, when you'll open this page, uh, go at the bottom and you'll see something called WP Subscribe Pro Widget. Click on that widget and here select Subscribe Widget Area. Click on Add Widget. Okay. Now again, instead of Feed Burner, select MailChimp. Put in your API URL over here. Select the list and Okay, fine rest everything is fine you can click on labels to change these settings you can click on colors to change these settings okay click on save and hopefully this should work let's refresh this page okay now it is showing guys okay this is what i was talking about we have this beautiful section over here and i think now it will also show on the home page now let's come to our home page let's scroll down okay now this is also showing on our home page so this is really helpful and this is how you show it on your home page or any page okay so this is how you do it guys so i hope it was helpful now let's move forward let's see what we have next again click on theme options okay yeah leave we have done all the settings i guess And let let me remember where I was. Let let it load first. Okay, so we were over here. Coupon single. What we want where? Okay, so this is the thing we were dealing with. And after that, single coupon post meta information. So again, let's click on single coupon. Let's click on any one of this. Okay, so post meta information again. This is the meta information. How many people have used? Who is the author of this post? When is this coupon expiring and so on? So you can enable, disable these things over here. And we have two options over here, pop up and pop under. So what this thing is related to this button. So when we click on this button, as you can see, one new page is opened and we are redirected to this page. And when we cut this page and come back to this same page, we have this thing, okay? So we have this coupon over here. So this is pop up and we have another option which is pop under so let's see how this thing works pop under thing okay let's refresh this website again now again let's click on this button okay as you can see now what happened is the we opened a new tab but that uh, thing is open in the background okay and we are on this page so this is also very helpful both the thing are almost same Okay, now you can cut this thing and we should have one more option. Yeah, this is the one subscribe box in pop up. This is very important. Make this thing on click on save changes 
what this will do is for example without without let's see first without saving changes so when we click on this okay you'll see this pop up okay and okay i think we have saved the same changes and this is what it does okay we have this subscribe form below this thing so this is very important again to increase your subscribers okay guys so we are done with this setting as well and let's see what we have next so this were i guess coupon single now come to blog okay so we have blogs over here but before doing anything with blog first we'll have to create a single blog so that we can play around with it okay so first what you have to do at the left hand side we have this thing called post how our post and click on add new now from here we can create different posts different blog okay so let's see how a post or a blog looks like so let's click on let's this is our demo website obviously let's click on blog okay so this is a single post as you can see let's click on this okay this is just a rating blank post so let's click some another one let's open this one okay so this is how it will look you have the featured image at the top i think which is using parallax effect which is not good okay and this is the title you have the content of the post over here okay this is all the content after that we have some social links related post about the author total comments and so on okay so let's add our first post and this is the title this will be shown and as you can see here it says parallax we don't want parallax so we want a simple post so this is the title and this is everything that will come under the content okay and if you copy everything from here and paste it you will see that it has used everything accordingly okay so this is heading 6 and this is some you know this is numbered thing and this is using bulleted bullet points okay so this is where your content will come which will be over here this is a very basic thing that's why i'm not explaining much i'm just copying and pasting very very basic thing okay and after that again from here you can create a category and remember this is not the same category which we created that was the coupon category and this is a post category so for example this post is related to animals so i can type in animals and click on add new category so this is something different that was totally different okay guys so don't get confused now let's add a featured image let's select featured image let's select that image if we have that okay this is the one select this one click on set featured image and everything is fine let's click on publish Let's view this post in a new tab. So open this link in a new tab. Okay, so this is how it is looking. It is still loading. Okay, now we can change how it looks and what's now we can also see this thing over here. Okay, this is the thing, uh, the subscriber form. This is the reply, comment section, uh, author section. You know social icon and everything okay so this is how you how you create a single post now what let me again import some post so that we don't have to create hundred of post in this video and let us save some time so again hover tools click on import now again scroll down and click on run importer choose file now come to this page uh, select this thing now here you'll find this blog folder select that and under that you'll find this file select this and click on open now click on upload file and import now you can you know assign it to any user and click tick mark this click on submit okay so it says all done it has not given any error so let's see click on post Okay, as you can see, we have many different posts over here imported. Uh, by default, this hello world post is there. We don't want it, so you can just delete it. Fine. Now let's come back to our website. Okay, now we also have these things over here. Okay, now if you refresh or if you go to the home page, 
let's click on this thing now we have some different post this thing if you click on single category post you'll see post related to that category and you can open this post and so on now we can change the look of this thing okay from the settings so again come back to the dashboard click on theme options now scroll down and we were under blog so click on blog okay so latest post featured categories now in the category for example here we are under funny category so how should the post show so we want the latest post to show at the top okay so we'll select latest from here if you want to show something else you can uh, select that thing okay then we have numbered if you see the pagination is numbered at the bottom this is numbered so we have number one page number two page and so on and we have this excerpts okay now don't select full post make sure you select excerpts because you know what happens we see only a small portion of that po post as you can see only two lines we don't want to see the whole post if you want to see the whole post we'll just click on this blog or post and we can read that thing but here because this is the archive page we want only a small excerpt from that post so make sure excerpts is selected then again post meta information we have date author name comment count categories again you have date author name comment count and categories okay so if you want you can change this thing you can disable something you can change the layout if you want to change the date format instead of this you can select this kind of thing you know instead of this style you can select this style light box you can make this thing on so what happens is if you someone is trying to open an image it will not open in a new tab it will open in the same tab so that is what a light box is okay click on save changes now so we haven't done any uh, changes over here so it's not there is no need to refresh the page and see what are the changes that have taken place and so on okay now again come back to this setting page now let's see what we have next so let's scroll down we have single post how a single post looks like so let's open a single post and let's see how it looks like okay so this is how it is looking we have this sidebar at the right and so on now let's see over here okay so single post layout we have post content related post author box and tags is disabled okay so let's see post content related post author box so post content then we have related post and then author so what you can do you suppose i want author box before the related post so i can do so okay now again meta information if you want something you can have it if you don't want you can just dis disable it breadcrumbs it is on and it should be on let me show you what a breadcrumb is this is a breadcrumb this shows the hierarchy for example home then funny under funny category we have this post so that is important highlight author comment yes we do want to uh, do that date in comments we, we want to show the date when the comment was made okay for example here the date is shown so that is also important everything is fine over here click on save changes now let's see what's next okay let me see okay after that we have uh, social buttons and this is the same thing you know floating where do you want your social buttons social buttons on pages no make sure this is off we want we don't want social buttons on pages we want them only on post so make sure this is off and again you can change this thing you can you know uh, change whatever you like you can change it if you can disable it you can enable it it's all up to you after that we have ad management okay so this is also a very good feature suppose you want if you want your you know adsense ads to show on your page you can just paste in those codes over here okay so it is it they have simplified it which is really good after that we have sidebars now you can assign sidebar to different thing we'll see sidebars at the end so don't worry now we have navigations so we don't have any navigation over here we'll see these things also let's see the last thing which is typography which is the font for example if you see over here this is using a different font and a different font color the color is uh, purple and the font is something different you can change the style of the font and you can also change the color if you want okay so here we have 
text logo font navigation font so this is the font which is used over here in the navigation menu if you want to change this you can change the font style you can change whether normal bold or you can change the font height you can change the font color and so on so i don't want to do any changes over here i'll just leave it like this but if you want if you want you have if suppose if you have some favorite font you and you want that on your website you can easily do so okay now we are done with most of in fact all the settings now let's see all the things which are left so the first thing which is left uh, i think is let's create a home, contact us page first okay first let's see how the contact us page looks like over here so let's click on contact page in the demo website so this is how it looks like and don't worry you don't have to create this contact form and so it is already created just copy this text or you can obviously put in any text but i'm just copying some text over here so that i don't have to you know type in anything so i'm just copying it come back to your dashboard at the left hand side you will see these pages hover pages click on add new now we'll be adding or creating a new page or contact us page so you can name it anything i'm just naming naming it contact us okay now in the template you'll have to select contact page okay you have this page attribute at the right hand side under that you have template under template select contact page okay now you paste in anything you want and below that the contact page will show now click on publish now let's see this page so let's open this view page in a new tab okay so as i said you we have our contact page over here okay which is looking really amazing now if you you can you know set no sidebar for example i don't like this sidebar in the contact us page so i can just select no sidebar from here click on update let's again refresh this page okay now we don't have any sidebar and this is looking much better okay so this is how you create a contact page now let's do one thing let's create our menu because this is the menu which is automatically created but we want our custom menu or we want a menu something like this you know we have our home we have all coupons we have different categories and we have the contact page and we don't have the contact page and home page over here so let's do that so to do so again come back to your dashboard hover appearances and click on menus okay now here you can name it anything let me name it main menu which i always do now click on create menu okay let's see let's add something one by one so first thing is our home page so what i'll do i'll open this custom link i'll just copy the my web my website url come over here paste that under url and in the link text i'll type in home and click on add to menu and after that we have this all coupons again what i'll do is i'll just paste in my website url and after that i'll type in coupons okay so it's your website url forward slash coupons and in the link text i'll type in all coupons click on add to menu and after that we have this categories one two three four five four categories so let's add those categories okay so this is not the category okay guys so this is the block category we don't want this category so that also will be adding through this link so what you can do is you can hover coupons and under that you will see categories so open these categories in a new tab so that you know we can easily copy and paste everything now your first one is clothing now when you hover clothing you'll see this view click on right click on this view and click on copy link address now paste it under url and under link text type in the name of the category which is clothing and click on add to menu so similarly you can add different categories for example let's add this electronics so paste it under url and type in electronics click on add to menu and similarly you can type everything so i'll just remove that and after that we have the block page now this is now let me show you how to do that uh, in, in fact we'll see uh, later on first 
let's create this contact page so we have already created a contact page which is here which we just created so you can just copy this link or what you can do because we have created this page you can go to pages here we have pages and here you'll see this contact page click on add to menu and the contact page is added after you add all this menu so here make sure you to uh, tick mark this primary or oh, if you don't do this your menu will not show up on the website okay so make sure you tick mark primary and click on save menu now let's refresh our website and let's see the changes okay okay fine now we can see it is home all coupons and so on now let's create a new page okay let's create a new page and let's open this in a new tab so that we don't go away from this page because we again we have to come to this page and let's add a new page called blog okay and let's don't do anything just click on publish okay just type in the title click on publish and now go to settings click on settings from this left hand side now here okay not settings under settings we have readings so click on readings under settings and here we have this uh, your latest post or static page so select a static page and under post page select blog the page which we just created the blog page click on save changes okay now again come to this menu page refresh this page okay now we have this blog page over here add to menu and you can put it anything anywhere you want it okay now click on save menu now again let's refresh this page and we should have a blog thing over here okay so we have our blog over here so we have also created uh, the menus now let's see our sidebars for example if you see over here we have this you know very bad looking sidebar over here but here we have some beautiful things in the sidebar okay so let's add this you know we have different sidebars for different purposes for example for post we have different sidebar and for different for coupons we have different sidebars so this is the sidebar for post okay this is how it looks like this is really looking beautiful and our sidebar for post is really looking terrible okay so let's change all these things now so again come back to your dashboard and how are appearances in fact we are under appearances at present and click on widgets Now here you will see the first option is sidebar okay and this is the option which we have to make changes. So first is the search bar after we have recent post and so on and here we have the search bar at the top but after that we have some different things. Okay so what I'll do I'll keep the search bar but I'll delete rest of the thing from here. So I'll just click on this one select delete click on archives delete it categories i'll delete no i'll keep the categories okay because after search i have these categories but i'll do some changes over here i'll make this thing i'll just tick mark this thing which says show post count because here as you can see it is showing the number of posts for example nine six and so on okay and click on save and i'll delete this meta okay and after categories we have these things the social icons so again come back under widgets and when you scroll down you'll see this thing mts social profile icons select this thing and make sure sidebar is selected over here click on add to widget okay so that is added over here as you can see now we can give it any title you can put in all your url over here so what i'll do i'll just put in hashtag everywhere because i don't want to put all these things over here so i'll just put in hashtag everywhere just to see how it looks like okay okay this much is fine okay let's put in everything fine now after this we have our popular post okay so let's minimize this thing first and again scroll down and you'll see mts popular post select this thing make sure sidebar is selected and click on add widget okay now popular post popular time limit so the post which were popular for last 30 days okay it will show up over here okay so popularity can be based on different criteria like views comments and so on okay 
you can increase or decrease the popularity level for example you can select one day so it will show the post which is popular on that particular day or you can select seven days it will show the post which is particular or which is popular on that particular week and so on okay now number of posts to show you can increase or decrease the number of posts to show that is quite understandable now here we have show thumbnails so we do want to show the thumbnails which is this images uh, and that looks beautiful now everything is fine select this minimize this and after this popular post we have latest posts okay so again scroll down and we should have okay recent post mts recent post select this thing make sure sidebar is selected click on add widget now number of posts to show and everything you can change it from here so all the uh, sidebar or uh, all the widgets are present so let's refresh this page and see the changes okay guys as you can see over here okay the popular popular posts are not showing uh, that is maybe because we don't have uh, we have just created it, this website and all the posts are same no one has more views or something that's why it is not showing but obviously when you you know uh, use this website for two three days then it will start showing but this is a problem over here i think we didn't save this thing the social icons so let's do one thing let's open this profile social icons and let's go at the bottom and click on this save button let's again refresh now we can see everything over here and this is really looking beautiful okay so this was the sidebar or the widget for the post so these are different posts now let's see the widgets and the sidebar for coupons so let's click on add coupons all coupons okay so this is our coupon archive page and this is uh, the sidebar now let's come to our demo website and let's see how the sidebar over here looks like so let's click on coupons over here as well okay so this is how it looks like and this is really looking nice so let's add all these things now so again come to the widget and this time we will be playing around with the sidebar coupon archives okay so the first one is this thing now let's see how to add this over here so let's search for that one i think it is uh, okay this is the one mts coupon brand info so select this one and now instead of sidebar we have to select sidebar coupons archive okay so select this one and click on add widget now here you have to give some title brand image url and so on so here we the title is not shown so you, let's not put any title but you have to put in the url of the image so how will you do that you have this media thing over here open this media in a new tab and suppose you want this ebay image so what you can do is we'll search for ebay image this is the one open this and here you have this url just you know double click over here it will select the url copy it from here and paste it under brand image url and you can change the text the brand text the uh, button and so on click on save okay now let's come over here and let's refresh now as you can see we have this thing over here now after this we have uh, coupon categories after that we have latest offers then uh, popular offers and so on so it's, it's really simple you just have to you know add these things uh, mts latest offer click on add widget okay and similarly mts popular offers here it is mts popular offers click on add widget and that's done let's refresh and see okay we have latest offers we have popular offers and obviously popular offers are not showing because all the you know coupons are having the same amount of usage that's why fine now after that let's see the final thing or maybe the second last thing i should say the footer widget okay this is the footer widget and here we don't have any footer widget till now so let's add that so under widgets now we should be you know working with this footer one footer two footer three footer four so in the footer one we have this stats so come to widgets and let's go to the bottom and here we'll see okay let's search for stats here it is mts side stats 
select that and from here select footer one because we want that on our footer one section and click on add widget okay so by default there are some things which are already given so you can change that for example stats number okay so here it is the same number is given 21 390 the logo or the icon is this tag icon coupons redeemed so here also we have 21 390 coupons redeemed stat uh, stats icon you can change the icon by clicking on this you can you know select this maybe this suitcase icon and so and then you have same thing oh, everything is given over here you can you just have to change this text click on save now after this in the second thing we have a menu okay so you can create a different menu a footer menu and you can add this menu over here or you can just add the home menu again okay so what you'll do is let's search for navigation menu here it is select this thing and now select footer 2 click on add widget you can give it any title okay for example here it says more links so we can also put in more links so let's type in more links and select the menu so we are selecting main menu you can you know create a different menu and include all these pages and you know include that page in the bottom in the uh, footer the third one is very simple it's just some simple text so you can you know copy this text from here go to widget and search for text and here it should be here it is text select this thing and select footer 3 click on add widget and just paste in the text over here okay you can give it a title like here you have about coupon or something let's copy that same title paste it over here click on save and the last one is this okay we have uh, and app available for android available for app store so that is also very easy what you can do is you have to select this mts coupon app select footer 4 from here click on add widget and as you can see this is also already done you have available for android then we have the android icon you just have to put in the url if you if you have any app then you have to put in the url of that app and click on save okay once you do everything let's refresh and see the changes okay so we have our footer a beautiful footer over here okay now last thing is this thing how to set up this uh, login and sign up thing okay i think i have already shown that let's see come to this uh, dashboard click on uh, settings okay this is the main important thing you have to select anyone can register okay now let's see whether we can register or not so click on sign up okay it is uh, taking us to a new page now user can put in or select any username for example they can type in this username they can type in an email address so once they do so and they click on register they will receive you know some kind of a password over there on on they will have to you know activate their account uh, using their gmail so what you can do we can just open gmail from here let's see and here is the mail which we just got so open this and here it is your username and password info now you have to click on this link to activate your account and you can reset your password from here for example let me reset this password let me put in this okay click on reset password now i can log in with this okay i can put the user can just put in their username and put in the password and click on login now there is a problem let me show you first now here if you see when they log in they only have one option profile and this okay but we want the user to be able to create coupons okay so let's do that let's log out from here first again come back over here let's uh, refresh and log in as the main account as the main administrator click on login okay now when you log in as the main administrator and you click on users you'll see that one guy has just signed up okay this is the one and the role the default role is subscriber now what you have to do you have to click on edit scroll down and roll instead of subscriber just select contributor and click on update user 
Okay, now again, let me log out from here and log in from that users account. And let's click on login. Now here, if you see, now the user can create coupons. Okay, so which is really cool. Now you can do so. Okay, guys, so I think this is it for this tutorial. I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you find this tutorial helpful, then make sure you subscribe to my channel. Also click on that bell icon so that you don't miss any future videos. And if you like this video, make sure you give a thumbs up to this video. If, if you have any doubt, any queries, any video request for me, you can put your comment in the comment section below. You can also share it with your friends. I would really appreciate that guys. Thanks a lot for watching. See you soon.